Hello, my esteemed viewers and subscribers worldwide. You are welcome back again on this moment of truth, where we tell you the truth the way it is. And today on matters arising, a lot of things are happening back to back in Nigeria since this COVID-19. And you all know quite well, it's no longer a news that um, coronavirus have claimed his biggest trophy in Nigeria, talking about the presidency for start, Abakari. It is not the news right now. Abakar is not the news. But this is the news. They will burn the dark place. Even if I don't quench or the coffee says. See, you don't come out that thing when you wear. See, yeah. see. See this man, man. Don't come out the man. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That guy don't come out the good. Don't come over white uh, something. See, ya. Yeah. see, ya. I see in a culture where all these are people go go pick up. Hey, and his hand come with him. You need to carry this from the gate and down. That person, that person, person now open it for it. Time for a or go burn up. But look at. Hey, God. Please, see how? They look around. Don't they use it? Uh, uh, they are living in the place. Don't be rushing this now. See how? They are not well at this now. Come out. And for outside here, sir. I was alive for you. Very foolish something. The boot, everything, all burn, all those things. And that cover never, never burn finish. You look at the liver for there. You don't leave that in there, come out. Yeah. You don't leave that cloth there, come out. You see, Anna, that time, move to. Capture that dog, capture him. That was better have burn. I saw my kind of car and I said, don't see your record. Ew. Get the number please. You tell that man to go and burn that up. That is good. A B C. Capture. I know they say I'm going. I go tell him. come down. Go flow that motor to come down. Okay, one carry. I say one carry under the bag. I say. I know we are hand glue for hands. See ya. See ya. See. Man will still use this cloth. You go, no, you, you go through where well, What about the hand? Where you go put on for fire now? Uh, he go still hold that door and enter the vehicle. Another yeah, hey. Don't run for there. Don't run for there. I'm okay, we'll stop that motor. I'm okay, you press Maybe on that motor. A B C waiting waiting waiting. This is now that one that means as in die now make every other person die with that. Good, you saw that right? <laughs> Fantastic. Nigerian government cannot cease to amaze me because immediately this video goes viral. They quickly summon their actors to put up and stage this one. Thank you, Akimat. I also saw the video trending. Um, it's really not uh, good. I promptly contacted the Public Health Department of Health Secretariat. Uh, they have gone there. They have uh, taken the back of the PPEs, disposed it professionally. Um, the gentlemen that are working in the cemetery have been identified, and um, we are going to uh, follow them up. Um, isolate them, test them, and do what is right so that they won't uh, infect uh, other people. Thank you. Hmm? Uh -huh. 
Si pada vos de aquí. Toma, toma, No, the depart you. The depart you. I'm going to be there anymore. I'm going to be there. 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 This is a big shame. It's a big shame for Nigerian Ministry of Health and all of them to come up with this nonsense as a form of managing the damage, damage control of their madness and stupidity. You see, Abakari, while he was alive, he infected some top political class and government officials. Now, at his barrier, thousands of Nigerians will be exposed or directly infected by Abakari. Because of what? The stupidity and insensitivity of Nigerian government. Nigerian government is a big, is a big, how do I put it? If you call it a mistake, is giving them a soft landing because it's not a mistake. Nigerian government is a blunder as a whole. Nigerian government, now blunder it be, now nightmare, now, now bad news. You copied shutdown. You copied social distance. You copied everything copyable from the West where the COVID-19 is ravaging. You didn't copy how to take care of your citizens. You didn't copy how to fix your health sector. You didn't copy what is truly democracy and not democracy. Today, more lessons are rolling out since Abakari died. <laughs> are you surprised? Why won't he die? Yes, he's not the only person that died. Many elderly people have died of this COVID-19 all over the world. So he is about 70 years still on the seat of power, on the corridor of power. And tomorrow they will tell you that, that we are the leaders of tomorrow. He had been leading Nigeria since his youthful age and up till his grave, he's still in the corridor of power. That is not my, my, my problem. My problem here is that these same people who have been running around all over the world to get medical service. COVID-19, don't shut them down. Shut them out from accessing those health services outside Nigeria. If it were on the normal circumstance, do you think Abakari will be in Nigeria? No. He will be somewhere, either in London or in America or in Germany or anywhere around the world receiving the best health service. Whereas, they have plundered the wealth, the money, the public fund that was supposed to be used to fix our health sector. Is it that we don't have the best doctors to man these hospitals? Let me tell you, Nigerians are one of the best medical workers you can see anywhere around the world. In Europe, precisely, in London and in UK, they are leading. In America, they are leading. Even in far away Australia, they are leading. Canada. Go to the Middle East. You still see our people giving out the best medical service. But here in our country, in this, in this God-forsaken country, look at what we are seeing. Today, Abakari is the victim. Number one victim. And more will roll out. But that is not my own my major problem because we're already in it. And my people, the Eastern people, we are already warming up. Because as far as this country is concerned, eh, we will do nothing to break it up. It will continuously break up by its own because I cannot see myself entangled in this colonial ent 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 entity. 
entangled with this kind of people that have no sense. Whereas some, some of our people who are benefiting from the system will continue to thwart our effort for freedom. I want to tell you Nigerians, I want to tell you Nigerians, it is high time everybody go and fix his own problem from his own home. You see all these people in the corridors of power, they are not interested in your welfare. Whether Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, whatever ethnicity you come from in Nigeria, the story is the same. Look at the government that deceives itself and the people. You cannot even maintain social distance. You, are exposed, you have exposed Nigerians more for this COVID. I wish, I pray this lockdown will continue. If we keep locking down until Nigeria is locked out completely. Come on that now the people like it could do me. Come on that now the people will. Come on that this COVID-19 will knock some sense into Nigerian people's head. And they will start reasoning. I don't want to make this video to be too to be too far because a lot of things are happening which I'm supposed to. In fact, I'm going to record all of them. I'm going to break them in pieces so that you will get all the gist. A lot of things are happening. And after watching this video, roll into the next one because I'll be releasing them as in fact I'll be recording all of them right now. A lot of things are happening. So keep watching, keep subscribing, make sure you keep sharing this video until some sense is knocked into Nigerian people's head. And I offer NCNC, National Center for Disease Control, or whatever they call it. They are now the National Center for Disease uh, 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 Spread. Nigerians, the time for you now to get sense. I'm signing out. Nigerians, the time for now to get sense. Because this government of APC, we saw the worst during the PDP. Now, we've seen something worse than the worst in this current APC. I don't know what to call it. Nigerians, no time to get sense. I'm signing out.